Kind of funky. Everybody know who this man is, right? Yeah. Earl Hebner, MVP fired you a couple weeks ago. And as your new boss, I am now reinstating you. The wrong has been righted by Kurt Angle. Give it up for the greatest referee who ever lived, Earl Hebner. Well, I'm happy for Earl. Now get your butt out of there. You got matches to ref tonight. Let's go. Now the town in the back is very eager for the matches I set up for them. I have this little cheat sheet here because I had a tough day putting these matches together. All right, here we go. First match, and I love this one. The first match is the man that tore my OCL, Mr. EC3. He's going to take on Bully Ray. I'm not done yet. In a tables match. Next up, we have a triple threat match for the tag team titles. The champions, the Wolves, will take on Jesse Goddard and DJ Z, as well as Knox to the Freak of the Menagerie. Now, the knockouts will be busy tonight, especially the champion, Angelina Love, will take on Gail Kim. Knockouts title. And last but not least, this is my favorite, Eric Young. He will get his rematch tonight against the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, Bobby Lashley. Oh, Got to like that. That's huge. So I want you to sit back, relax, pop up in a cold one, and enjoy the entertainment on me. Kurt Angle's red, white. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Hang on here. Samoa Joe. What's this about? Has any clue? No idea. Yo looks kind of angry. I mean, we know oh, Samoa that... Joe, Kurt Angle, with the storied rivalry oh, years ago, one of the well, greatest ever, if not if the I, best well, in company history. Maybe I can get a word in. Thank you. It's uh, about if... time. Pull the trigger already, would you? <laughs> well, I'm just saying that Kurt Angle never mentioned the name of Joe, so that's what I wanted to say. I'm good. Trigger's pulled. Who? Let us all get together and rejoice for Kurt Angle has come to save us with his righteousness and his fair ruling over TNA. Unfortunately, Kurt, we both know that's a big hunk of BS. For everything you're gonna walk out and claim to be in front of these people, somebody who's here for them, somebody who's here to give them the best teen experience possible, you are no different from your predecessors and you know it. <laughs> Kurt, I know you better than anybody else in this company and if there's one thing I know, it's that you covet the World Heavyweight Championship more than anything else in the world. So I know one thing for sure, Kurtz, how long before you book yourself in that championship match? Because I bet it'll be as soon as that knee is healed. You know what, Joe? I'm not even going to entertain this conversation. You know as well as I do, for the past eight years, I put up with the same BS as you did. Kurt, Kurt. Let's be real clear about something. You have not walked the same path that I have. Let's be clear. When you came here, and rightfully so, you were bought and you were brought here. I, I kicked my way in here. I beat up everybody I could to get here. I used my fists to be my justification for being here, Kurt. And that is where we will always be different. You know what, Joe, you act like you never had opportunities. You had plenty of opportunities. You know what your problem is? One night you come in, you kick everybody's ass. And the next night, 
you come in half-assed. Not once in my career did I ever come in half-assed. This ring is sacred to me. Let me ask you something. Do you feel the same? You know, Kurt, there's a, there's a lot of things that you can say to me, but questioning my dedication to professional wrestling is not one of them. Let me, let, me, let me paint a picture for you. You see, while you were doing dojos and trying to get your ass in the door, I was here. I was here in the Northeast. I was here in Pennsylvania rebuilding the sport of professional wrestling. While you were being flown around the country in Lear jets and limousines, Kurt, I was fist fighting in a guard armory right down the street for 40 bucks a night. Yeah. Kurt, let me make this really clear. I am Samoa Joe. They called me the Samoan submission machine. And if you haven't heard, I am pro wrestling. You know what? That is exactly the Samoa Joe I want to see. That is the Joe everybody wants to see. Am I? Kurt, be careful what you wish for. Taz, you surprised at Samoa Joe's reaction? Uh, not, not, not really. I mean, I, I, you know, I think that Joe really set the tone Joe's a fighter, he's a warrior. He's got a chip on his shoulder, and that's why, well, maybe he's right. Maybe he is pro wrestling.